the goal of this video is twofold. First, I would like to introduce you to a lesser known French knife company that offers beautiful Laguiole knives. Second, I would like to elaborate a little bit on the symbolic meaning of the bee, a symbol that is connected to Napoleon as well as to the Laguiole knife. A local legend has it that the use of the bee was granted to the town of Laguiole by Napoleon in recognition of the courage of local soldiers. This story is popular, but it is a legend that can be quickly debunked. Napoleon died in 1821. The Laguiole was first designed in 1829, and the first Laguiole knives with a B date from not earlier than 1908. Bonjour and welcome to another journey into the world of French knives. I already reviewed a Laguiole knife in the past, and I suggest you watch my video on this Laguiole no Brac first if you are not familiar with Laguiole knives. In this older video I give a general historical overview, today I will be focusing on a particular detail. So what have we got here? This is a classic Laguiole knife with a standard handle length of 12 cm, stainless steel bolsters and beautiful olive wood handle scales. This Laguiole knife was made by the cutlery company Honoré Durand, a name that is probably not as well known as other Laguiole brands, at least outside of France. In France, Honoré Durand has been awarded several prizes over the last 10-15 years. It is a family business that is located in the town of Laguiole itself, which of course does not mean that Honoré Durand Laguioles are more authentic than others. The fact that they are manufactured at the place where it all began adds just some local color. I was pointed to this brand by a German knife dealer a while ago. Michael Brandner sells Honoré Durand knives here in Germany. Check out his website. He also sells some other selected French and German knife brands. International buyers who want to explore the world of Honoré Durand should visit the official website. This Honoré Durand Laguiole comes with all the features you can expect from a well-made Laguiole knife. Lovely handcrafted filework on the back spring, the shepherd's cross, a Yatagan blade made of Sandwick 12C27 stainless steel. I hope you can see the stamp with the bull's head here on the blade. The bull refers to the Aubrac cattle, a very old French breed of cattle. A bronze statue of an Aubrac bull is also the landmark of the town of Laguiole. Of course, Honoré Durand offers Laguiole knives with all kinds of different handle materials. They even customize Laguioles to your liking. Now for today's history lesson, as some of you call my historical digressions. We all know that this is a bee. However, as Christian Le Masson, the historian of the Laguiole knife, found out, the bee didn't appear earlier than 1908. The bee was an innovation created by Jules Calmel, a grandson of the inventor of the Laguiole knife, Pierre-Jean Calmel. By the way, I can highly recommend Christian Le Masson's book, Histoire du Couteau de Laguiole. This book comes with a plethora of information on the Laguiole knife and with lots of old photos. Unfortunately, this book is only available in French. What we also learned from this book is that the very early Laguiole knives didn't have any decorations at all. Look at these photos. These knives were made for peasants, small farmers, shepherds, cattle breeders. In the early 19th century, the French belonged predominantly to the rural population. So, in the beginning of the Laguiole era, this piece here, the head of the spring, was not decorated at all. The French cutlers call it la mouche. La mouche means fly, but this is quite misleading because it has nothing to do with the buzzing animal. It's a technical term used by cutlers. So, if I say la mouche, I mean the head of the back spring. 
In the beginning, La Mouche came in different but very simple shapes, rectangular, oval, squarish, spatula shaped, but without any ornaments. Also, La Mouche had a function, it was part of the locking mechanism. The spring head locked the blade tang. You had to lift the spring head in order to disengage the blade. Of course, the modern slip joint lagioles don't have this mechanism. At the end of the 19th century, the lagiole knife gained more and more attention of people from outside the Aveyron region. Well-off people in Paris became aware of the knife. And obviously they requested a more luxurious design. And that's why the cutlers in Lagiole and other villages started to decorate La Mouche. But there still was no bee. At that time, between 1880 and 1900, the cutlers used floral ornaments, as you can see here. The fleur de lis and the four-leaf clover were very popular. And what is quite remarkable, Honoré Durand offers both floral motifs again today. As I already mentioned, around 1908-1909, Jules Calmel replaced the floral ornaments with the bee. Why? Actually, we don't know. Maybe it was an homage to the rural life. Maybe it was a bit of Napoleon nostalgia. Wait a minute. Napoleon? Didn't I tell you just a few minutes ago that Napoleon had nothing to do with the bee on the knife? Absolutely. However, I think we have a very special case of history repeating going on here. Over centuries, the fleur de lis was a royal symbol that represented the French monarchy. It is still visible in numerous emblems, for example in the emblem of the city of Paris. It all goes back to the conversion of the Frankish king Clovis I in 493. It is said that an angel sent the fleur de lis to Clovis. As a matter of fact, decorative ornaments that resemble the fleur de lis have appeared in artwork from the earliest human civilizations. But especially in France, you can encounter it all over the place. So it is no wonder that the cutlers in Laguiole also used this symbol for decorating La Mouche. But Jules Calmel was not the first individual who replaced the fleur de lis with a bee. The same thing had happened before. However, not on a small piece of metal, roughly 100 years earlier it had happened on a world historical scale, you could say. In 1804, when Napoleon crowned himself Emperor Napoleon I, he decided to replace the old symbol of the French monarchy, the fleur de lis, with a new one. And he showed some imagination in the choice of his personal symbol. He went for the bee an industrious, collective and sometimes dangerous little animal. But what is more, since ancient times, the bee has always been a symbol of immortality and resurrection. So, what have we learned today? First, Honoré Durand is a considerable Laguiole brand for your knife collection. Second, La Mouche is a technical term rather than a buzzing animal. And finally, Napoleon is everywhere. Thanks for watching.